Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. So for people who aren't familiar with the Anatomy of a Scandal, can you give us a brief introduction? Well, I think it is a show about power and privilege and about three characters reckoning with their past uh, that has come back to haunt them. And what was the initial appeal for you to be on board with this project? Had you read Sarah's novel? Uh, you know, when did you come on board and why was it so interesting to you? Uh, well, David E. Kelly brought me in and um, yeah, it was a real page turner and it has a wonderful, uh, shocking plot twist on which we could build and yeah, it was a nice, exciting challenge. And what a cast to have, you know, bringing the story to life in Seattle Mena and Rupert Friend and, and the rest of the supporting cast as well. So what was it like having these people, you know, tell the story for you? Oh, it was a gift. It was a dream. They are just fantastic and nuanced. Their performances are layered. They elevate all of it. It was a real thrill to work with them. And it's very much a female-led story in terms of, you know, the female lens. But even on, on the, you know, behind the camera, um, a lot of female, uh, you know, filmmakers. So why do you think that's so important? And how do you think it brings something different to the screen? Uh, look, it's important for all sorts of stories to be told, and this, uh, I mean, at the heart of this story are two strong women, you know, navigating their choices. And um, so, yes, yeah, so it was really important to have a diverse team behind the lens uh, in terms of gender, but we, we need that across the industry in every regard. So, no, we're, we're really proud of that. And what's interesting, I think it has some of the, the thriller aspects from David E. Kelly's work, you know, uh, Big Little Lies and um, uh, The Undoing, but it's very much steeped in the British class system and power and privilege. So was that something unique to this story? Absolutely. I mean, from the beginning, we knew it would be a mistake to try and move the story to America. It's very much situated in, as you say, this stratified society, and that's... Um, that's essential to the story. I mean, the, the reason why uh, what happens happens is is because of the structure that exists here and that people, I mean, not that it doesn't happen in America as well, that people think, certain people think the laws don't apply to them, they think they're above the law, or think they're above certain ethical constraints. And, you know, I think the story explores how maybe that's, maybe that's just starting to change just a little bit. And what do you hope people take, on what, from, wait, take away from watching it in terms of, you know, how it explores Laws, consent, you know, how, you know, women have control over their bodies and, and, and that power and privilege theme. What do you think people take away? Look, I hope they enjoy the ride of the storytelling and I hope they uh, appreciate sort of the way in which it, it digs into these questions in a, in a nuanced way, hopefully. Um, you know, a, 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 this, this is a story of, of relationships in which, uh, in other circumstances, uh, the, the sex was consensual. So it's, it's, a very, it's a very fine line and it's a really important thing to talk about, relationship rape. Thanks so much for your time. Enjoy the evening. Love to speak to you. Thanks.